Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome back to the Friday Five. It is episode 23 on August 30th, and we got a special guest here today. This is Eric Linson. He has interned with us here at Community Boost all summer and has gone from zero to 100 when it comes to uh, being very strong in Facebook and Instagram ads and Google ads and has just been learning how to, to do these platforms really well. Uh, I have to say I've been really impressed with your growth and everything you've accomplished and, and thank you for everything you contributed to a lot of our nonprofit partners this summer. Uh, Eric, why don't you tell, tell the audience a little bit about how the program went and, and a little bit about yourself. Yeah, well, first of all, I just wanna say thank you. Um, Thank you first for being able to join the famed Friday Five, episode 23. This has been a dream of mine. It's finally coming true. Um, but also, <laughs> more sincerely, I just want to say thank you to Community Boost for giving me the opportunity to work with all these nonprofits, be able to dive into these platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Google Ads, and just be able to test and learn as much as possible. And now I feel really confident um, I'll just be able to tackle these digital marketing needs for nonprofits. And I don't know, I'm just really thankful for that. So thank you. Heck yeah, you're welcome. Um, thank you for every con everything you contributed. We're excited to have Eric you know, continue to support a little bit in, in his senior year and can't wait to see what you accomplish on your own journey. Without further ado, let's dive into the show. So for those that are new to the show, basically how it works is nonprofit leaders from around the world submit their biggest digital marketing challenge through our Digital Marketing for Nonprofits Facebook group. From there, we take five minutes every single Friday and try and answer your, your challenges and give you some advice and hopefully some support and hopefully generate some breakthroughs. So let's do it. I'm going to hit the five minute timer. And Eric, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. Boom. First challenge here is from uh, uh, Monique from the Caring and Sharing Exchange. Biggest digital marketing challenge is Convincing our staff and board the value of investing in digital advertising. Uh, and, and I can start us off, Eric, and then you can chime in too. But, you know, I, I have to say I, I've had to face a lot of boards when it comes to this, right? Especially with marketing, they want what's our ROI, all of these things. And I really like to hammer home that there's you know, a difference between marketing and development, yet they go hand in hand. And also, I mean, it's 2019. And about to be 2020, and we have to market where people's attention is actually at, which is online, it's on mobile, it's on Facebook, it's on Google, it's in our email inbox, and we have to be there, or we're not going to be in front of the, the feeds of our potential supporters. Any thoughts on that one? Yeah, um, and it's pretty time sensitive too. We need to get in now because these platforms, you know, becoming more pay to play, and if we don't get in now, it's just going to be harder and harder to gain communities and gain followings. Um, so the time is now to invest in digital as much as you can. Agreed. All right, next is from Kristen from the Green Mountain Club. Biggest challenge is turning reach into action. You wanna take that? Sure. <laughs> um, so, you know, obviously it's easy to get engagement and it's easy to get reach, especially if you have advertising spend behind it. But when you're looking at turning that reach into conversions and into actions, you really have to think a lot about the donor journey and you really have to make it really easy for the donors to make those steps. So you can't be asking donors to do huge things like donate huge amounts of money, but if you say, oh, maybe just sign up for our newsletter and then eventually donate and then eventually become a recurring donor and then eventually maybe have a birthday fundraiser. Just making the donor journey really easy and seamless. Yeah, I like that. Just focus on messaging, value prop, what's your call to action and just really consistently ask for feedback and what resonates with them, why do people give, send donor surveys and continue to just like fine tune that, that marketing funnel that Eric is alluding to. All right, next is from Tracy from the EOD Warrior Foundation. Biggest digital marketing challenge is keeping up and updating posts as needed and you know, varies with events. Uh, I can kick us off here, you know, I, I totally understand. It can be a lot to manage, especially on the social media front. Um, and you know, I, I checked out your social, right? But you, you have a lot going well for you. But I have to say, one thing we've learned is systems will set you free. And you know, creating whatever that is for you, like content calendars, Hootsuite, Asana systems, however you manage your team. But also one of the biggest things you can do is just really 
assign accountability and expectation um, and just make the time. You got to protect the time when it comes to social media. Anything you want to add? Um, no, I, I just really think it's all about systems. Coming from other internships I've had with other companies that are trying to put out content and then coming here, you can just see the strong difference where if you have systems and you have really strong accountability, then it makes it so much easier to get stuff done. And then we've alluded to this before, but just let urgency conquer fear. Like you need to get the content out, so just do it. I like that. All right, biggest digital marketing challenge is effectively, or sorry, this is from Shirley from Liberty Hill Foundation. Biggest digital marketing challenge is effectively using Facebook ads and engaging our followers in post. You've been doing a lot of these. Take I have, it. yeah. <laughs> so as far as Facebook ads go, it's just really about executing and getting in the platform and testing as much as possible. So there are obviously best practices, and you can look on the internet and find those. But when it comes down to your own messaging and then through Facebook, how that interacts with donors, it's really got to get into it and you know, get in the thick of it. I guess. One thing you could look at is making some engagement campaigns and then different ad copy and sending those out. You can get engagement for a lot cheaper than maybe running a conversion campaign. Um, yeah, and then other than that, I could just say testing as much as possible. I think it's great advice. I mean, to piggyback, I just you got to be a practitioner. That's how you get effective. Somebody has to. I mean, this is the platform. We're in the golden era of Facebook and Instagram ads. It'll be very different in 36 to 72 months. This is where, I mean, when you're seeing 3x to 10x return on ad spend for a nonprofit, you have to be investing there and, and just figuring it out. Um, a, another cool tool that can also accelerate learning that is a new feature in Facebook is what's called the ad library. And, and this tool is really neat. It allows you to, for many nonprofits, to not just see their creative if they are running Facebook and Instagram ads, but you also have the opportunity to even potentially understand what they're spending. So especially if you have to you know, convince leadership or to give you some test budget, same can be helpful, but also seeing that creative from the organizations that are doing it incredibly well can accelerate your results in addition to some of the great advice Eric gave. So keep testing, shake it out. And uh, again, I, I wanna thank Eric uh, for joining, not just today's show, but for the Community Boost family over the past few months. It's, it's really been a pleasure having you. Really amazing to see your growth and everything you've accomplished. Can't wait to see what you accomplish in your senior year and beyond. So thank you, everyone, to you all. Have an amazing Friday. We'll see you next time.